Hello everybody, welcome back to the Batania series. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a very simple mana farm using the Endo Flame, an open crate, a mana spreader, a mana pool, and some coal. To do this, we're going to start out by making the Endo Flame, which is going to be a mystical light gray petal, a mystical red petal, two mystical brown petals, and some wheat seeds. Throwing these into the petal apothecary with water in it will give you the Endo Flame. Next, we are going to be making an open crate, and contrary to what the wiki says from what I saw, you do not need pure living wood, you just need living wood planks. Arranging these kind of like pants will give you an open crate. Moving over, we are then going to need to make a mana spreader. So just like this, it is six living wood, a piece of gold, and a mystical petal of your choice. Placing it like that will then give you the mana spreader and that is pretty much all that you need aside from a few things. Now, hopefully you have a mana pool sitting around that you can use. I have one in my inventory here. If you don't know how to make that, it is living rock in an upside down helmet shape. Now, to make this, what you're going to need to do is you're going to place your mana pool down if you don't already have one. You're then going to go back a block, and then you're going to place a mana spreader. Take your wand of the forest, and you're going to shift right click it, and you're going to shift right click to the mana pool, and then you can remove this dirt block from beneath it. Then what you're going to do is you're going to place a pressure plate right below the, right in back of the mana spreader. So one down, one over, and then right behind that pressure plate, you're then going to place an endo flame. On top of the pressure plate, you're going to place the open crate. And then you're going to grab your slab here. You're going to grab redstone dust and a block, which is just going to be that block that I had there. So you're going to lead also a hopper. So you're going to lead from this pressure plate. You're going to lead one here, put a block back here, oak slab on top, redstone dust here, hopper here and another piece of redstone dust on top of that, and then you can remove your dirt block. Now to start this, all you're going to do is going to place coal in here, and since that is activated here, it will not um, filter out anything else, so once that's pressed, this will be on hold until that disappears by the end of flame, which then it will drop another piece of coal onto here, and as you can see, it is filling our mana pool. Now this isn't automatic, of course, this is semi-automatic. You will need to refill the coal every now and then, and I'm not completely sure if the end of flame breaks after a certain amount of time. Anyway, if this is not working, you also want to be sure that the end of flame is connected to this mana spreader. If you hover it over it with the wand of the forest, it will turn this multicolor RGB. And that's how you know. Anyway, if there is anything that you need help for, or if I didn't explain it, that well please let me know in the comments or in my discord server i will be more than happy to help anyway that is how you make an automatic mana farm in batania or sorry semi-automatic farm mana farm in batania i hope you all have a fantastic day and goodbye everyone